for making taco seasoning. What's in there? Cumin, onion powder. Can you talk a little louder? Cumin, onion powder, chili powder, Italian seasoning, garlic powder. Italian seasoning in my tacos? Yeah. You're so weird. What's this? Cumin. Put the lid back on it. And what are we going to do with this? We're putting it on tacos. What do you think it's for? Is that taco meat? Yeah. That's two pounds of ground turkey. It was still frozen, so we're trying. We've got it on low to let it uh, defrost, hopefully. What are you doing to that? What is that? It's got a mouth. Why is it not having the wise? Oh, oh, asking you shall receive. How's it going to breathe? What is that? It's a cake. It's cake man? <laughs> cake man. Hello, everybody. I am going to sit here and supervise Owl making it. Ah, she's trying to eat my fish. My fish. You're very delicious. <laughs> She eating my fish. <laughs> now what are you doing? I'm mixing it. Do you, did you measure it with that? No. Did you measure it with your heart? <laughs> yeah. You measure like your mama. You measure with your heart. Hmm. All right, put this back up. What are you doing now? I didn't have enough. You didn't have enough? What are... Mm -hmm. Good lord, you can never have enough garlic apparently. What's that? It's cumin. Oh lord, she's going in. She's going in, folks. What are you doing? Are you are you taking the lid off? Alright, don't put too much in it. My lord have mercy. Now what's that? Don't put too much of that and your sisters won't eat it. That's enough. Your sisters won't eat it. That's why we have the Italian seasoning. No, that, that, don't put Italian in my Mexican. What is that? People mix breeds all the time. Those aren't breeds. Those are spices. <laughs> nah, man. Don't do that. Nah. Nah. Just not, that ain't right. That is not right. Get your Italian seasoning out of my Mexican. <laughs> your Grammy's going to listen to this. You better stop. Yes. And Mr. Robert. Mr. Frog can take a joke. All right, now that has to sit until we get this cooked. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, ah! It's spicy. Uh, that's what I'm afraid of. Alright, it's going to be a bit. Alright, so we've got all that frozen ground turkey nice and defrosted. And now we're going to turn it up a little so that it can brown. I put it to medium. And I'm going to let it sit there for about probably 10 minutes and by then it should be brown you don't want it completely cooked through oh, excuse me I do want it completely cooked through I forgot what I was doing y'all now I like to add my sauce my spice before it completely gets cooked. That is way too much. But that way the spices or sauce gets cooked in there and I'm only doing this because I also want it into the juices. So I'm gonna use the juices to make some rice. So this will get nice and browned and cooked. I apologize for all that banging. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. 
So, I forgot to record this part. Um, <laughs> the turkey, seasoned turkey, was finished cooking. And so, I used a slotted spoon to just take it out and get the juices left behind. Um, there was a little under um, one and a half cup, and I needed one and two thirds cup of water to one cup of rice. And this is my tricolor blend. So what I did was I went ahead and added water, just plain water, up to the one and two thirds mark that I needed, and then added the one cup of rice. And now we're ready to get this started cooking. And that's the seasoning, that's the juices and the seasoning from the um, homemade taco, Italian taco seasoning mix. Um, we won't go there. And so, now I need to cover, okay, bring it to a boil over high heat. And after this comes to a boil, I'm going to cover, reduce heat, and simmer for 30 minutes. All right, so now we just gotta bring this up to a boil. All right, so it's brought up to a boil. We're gonna reduce heat and cover. Unfortunately, I cannot find the lid for this container. And I think this is one of my mom's pans, so it probably went to Florida and I have the pan. Or the pot. Let's get yeah, the wave. Pot. So what I'm having to do Let's is go put this one in there. And it's the tightest fitting one that I have. It does have a little vent. But I reduced the heat and covered. Now we're going to let it simmer for 30 minutes. Now go by the directions on your rice. Each rice is different because this is a rice blend. Um, that's why it's so high. It would also be the same with like a just plain brown rice. But, um, because it is a rice blend, it's 30 minutes. Um, but please, <laughs> go by the directions on your rice packet. So, <clears throat> my Maggie does not like rice on her burritos. Just beef and cheese. So, you put the beef, or actually the ground turkey Italian taco meat... Luckily, she put enough cumin in there. You can't taste the Italian. So I'm going to put a little layer of the ground turkey mix. A little layer of cheese. Wrap. This is kind of hard with one hand. So I'm going to tuck this. And then I'm going to Tuck this. <laughs> then I add just a little bit more beef. And a little bit more cheese. And this will help it, once it gets cooked, this will help it stay closed. Fold one side over, put a little bit more cheese, because I'm not cooking these right now. And that will help it stay closed. Then I lay the closed side down into the little container. These are just microwave safe, freezer safe containers. I got them off of Amazon. If I remember, I'll put the link down below. I got to go through and put some links in the last prep video I did. Because I forgot. And now that one is ready. Now, don't ever put a lid on it while it's still warm. Because that will make your burrito soggy. And my Maggie does not like soggy burritos. But this way, she can heat this up. It's already cooked. She can heat it up and put whatever she wants on there. And Maggie's a purist, so she won't put anything else on there. 
And now I'm going to do the rest. But you don't need to see that because I just showed you. All right, so my Allie likes her uh, meat and rice mixed. So that's what I've done. I finished cooking the rice, obviously. <laughs> and I mixed the Italian taco seasoning in with it. And I like to make it to where she only has to eat one of these things. So Allie came out and decided that she wanted to eat her burrito right now. Allie. You just called me Allie. Owly. Owl. Owl. Hoot hoot. hoot. All right, I'm sure uh, Mama Al over Old Ways Prepping thought that was cute. So, because the meat and the rice mix is already warm, the cheese is melting quite nicely. And she's doing that because this is my prep plate, and she's going to put some stuff on hers. Uh-uh, get yourself a spoon. Okay, right, that's enough. That's enough. Spread it out. Don't make mama have to be the, the salsa Nazi. Mm. Do you want sour cream? No. Alright, I'm going to wrap this up. And she's going to taste hers. This is what mama's going to call one messy burrito. She put so much salsa on there. This thing's going to explode. Let's watch this. Mm. Here, eat it. No. Come on now. No. Yeah, I'm scared. Taste it. Do you want to taste burrito? You want to stick it in your mouth? Mmm. It's good stuff? Yeah. Mom done good? Yeah. Okay. More. Like well, you eat that first, and then you need some veggies. Uh, no, don't give him a burrito. Look but at him. Mexican. I don't care. All right, now I'm going to finish making the rest. Um, I just put the rice and turkey meat mix in the middle of this burrito. Put some cheese on it. And wrap it up. Unfortunately, they've eaten all the big burritos, and that was 24 burritos you know, wraps. So now I gotta go to the small ones. So this will be the last big one that I can make. Alright, so that's the end of that. And all I'll do is let these cool. And after they've cooled to room temperature, I'm gonna put their lids on them. And I will put the ones for Maggie that only have the turkey and cheese will have a number one on them. Eli's with the uh, cheese, turkey, and rice mix will have two, and then I'll put them on the menu up on the board. Hope y'all had a really great night, and thank you for coming along and making some interesting Italian taco burritos. Bye.